What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? And what up to everybody in main man, me man's boxing form? Hey, look, man. The thing is this, fight fans. Word on the curb. Look like the WBC has now came out and ordered Keith Thurman versus Earl Spence Jr. And it looked like Keith Thurman is now Earl Spence Jr. latest mandatories man damn it's like keith gotta get in line man earl got all these situations lining up back to back to back fight fans what's really going on you know what i'm saying shit man we know that earl spence jr got that ibf mandatory dude with jerron boost ennis we know he got the wba situation where they was consolidating their belts and now Iamanthe Stanionis is trying to get his shot because he took step aside money in his last fight to allow ugas to face earl and so now he was sitting back waiting on his shot. But in front of all of that, the WBC come on out here and they jump out there and order their fight first. And the crazy part about all of that fight fans is that Earl Spence Jr.'s absolute last mandatory was for the WBC. That shit crazy, right? It's like, damn, how the heck with all of those situations playing out that the wbc earl's last mandatory which was versus danny garcia how did that get in front of everything out everything else it's amazing fight fans all i know is the only thing that kept all of these mandatories at bay for earl was the fact that he was sitting down negotiating with terrence crawford I mean, as the outside observer, y'all, I mean, it makes me wonder, did, did PBC stall out Terrence Crawford only to have Earl Spence Jr. land with Keith Thurman? Was that the intentions from the beginning, fight fans? Why do you say that, main man? I got Keith Thurman running around all year long, fight fans, talking about something he was told that he was going to be facing either Earl or Terrence. I got the WBC pulling this crazy maneuver right here, jumping in front of all of these situations, right? How did that happen? Now, we know that, w that Keith Thurman was the former WBC champion, and yes, he did relinquish his world title, and perhaps he was promised a shot. But however, he still went through eliminators in order to get back to that shot. He didn't get an immediate shot, so I don't know what kind of arrangement that would have uh, been. It just looks funny, fight fans. When you think about what happened with the whole uh, Earl Spence getting injured at the same time when Ugas' opponent got injured, it was just, it was funny looking how it all just been playing out with PBC, fight fans. And, you know, I, I believe that the reason that all of this stalling has been going on with Terrence Crawford clearly is to keep uh, these mandatories at bay for Earl Spence Jr. To allow PBC to get control of this situation. What are you talking about, main man? The thing is this, fight fans. Now, we've been talking about this for the last few weeks, haven't we? So we all kind of know exactly what the situation looks like. This is what the situation looks like for those who don't know. We'll go back over it for the millionth time. And that is the fact that Earl Spence Jr. has three of the world titles at 147. WBA, WBC, and IBF. And like I was saying before, Jerron Boots Ennis is now in the number one position. He's effectively the mandatory. This is the second mandatory in the IBF for Earl Spence where the last guy who was his mandatory loss. And so since then, Jerron Ennis has fought his way through the ranks and he's became the new mandatory. Keep in mind that the IBF was riding Earl Spence Jr. Hard as on or what fight fans prior to him sitting down with Terrence Crawford. And we also know that this WBA situation in which we just explained with Iamantis Stanionis right here and um and Earl Spence Jr. Now the crazy thing is that the PBC, they have control of all of this, man. So they 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 needed that extra time to figure out what they exactly were going to do. We know that Jerron Ennis came out earlier this year telling everybody that his next fight was going to be either Iamantis Stanionis or Keith. Thurman if Keith Thurman is ordered to go face Earl Spence Jr. fight fans well that just leaves Iamantis Stanionis and judging by the reaction from this uh, from the Boots team they happy with Stanionis it it fills their appetite and if Iamantis Stanionis faces Jerron Ennis they will more than likely be fighting for the WBA regular title because you got Jerron Ennis also number two in the WBA you see the chess pieces fight fans the chess pieces being moved and so you got Jerron Ennis 
you know, perhaps his, he'll be tied up with Stan Leonis, allowing Earl and Keith to go on and fight. Now, the crazy thing about this, though, is that Keith Thurman has put Earl Spence Jr. in situations through the years where, yeah, he did make Earl a weight. And Earl has said over and over again that he do not want to face Keith Thurman. And I do credit Earl Spence Jr. for keeping his foot on the gas to a certain degree of with the Terrence Crawford fight. And it does not look like PBC um, didn't want that Crawford fight as much as Earl did. It seemed like the Dead Witches is more for Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying, fight fans? And keeping these situations at bay and stalling with Terrence Crawford, where it allowed them to basically get what they want, fight fans. It gets what they want. Now, this is also still good news for Earl. Like I said, they wasn't going to face Terrence Crawford into 2023 anyway. Anything that Crawford was getting wasn't for next year. That's funny how they were sending them offers for next year. But they, they were ready for him to face Keith Thurman immediately. But it, it, it seemed like since we were not getting that fight anyway, the, the Terrence and Earl fight. But shit, I'm down for the key fight now. I'm down for it. And boxing fan, you shouldn't be har harboring no personal feelings because the fighters feel some kind of way you are a boxing fan you should want to see the best fight the best you should so at the end of the day this is still a good fight and on for earl spence jr this is gives him an opportunity to now effectively clean out the weight class because keith is considered the number three welterweight while turns is the number two guy if earl mops up those two names he becomes undisputed hall of fame worthy and on top of that, cleaned out the 147-pound division. That got to sound real good to Earl Spence Jr. Not to mention mopping up his rival. Both of them. I mean, that got to be a steep climb for Earl. Don't get it twisted, fight fans. But if he climbs that mountain, there's nothing short of greatness waiting on the other side. Nothing short. Now, I know a lot of y'all may say, well, man, Keith is weak to the body, man, man. He's weak to the body. Yeah, we seen him pulling out his mouthpiece versus Barrios. Yeah, we seen him pulling out his mouthpiece versus Colazzo and this guy and that guy. Keith is weak to the body, and Earl is going to beat him to the body. Riddle me this. Has Keith ever been stopped to the body? Does Keith know how to survive in those moments? That is key, fight fans. Keith has that survival instinct. The, the will to keep on going and the will to know how to find a way to win. Keith Thurman is still a good fighter. And for Earl Spence Jr., it's not going to be just a walk in the park. So definitely want to see the fight, fight fans, since we're not getting the Crawford fight. And on top of that, why should Earl Spence Jr. get a soft touch? It doesn't make any sort of sense. Oh, well, main man, Crawford is facing David Avenesian, but he has no choice. Virgil Ortiz is not putting in any paperwork. No one else is stepping up to the plate. Crawford don't have a broadcaster. Crawford doesn't have a promoter. No one is stepping up to the plate. So he's fighting who comes along. As for Earl, these guys are all right next to him, especially Keith. So it's no excuse why he shouldn't go and do other things, especially to take soft touches or whatever, especially when you got Jerron Ennis who's doing a mandatory shot. You got Keith Thurman right there on his side of the street. Why not take a good fight? Give us the good fight. That just comes with the territory, fight fans. Y'all want to call him king, but y'all don't want to ask him to do king things. It's called cleaning out of class. No one ever said it was going to be easy. It wasn't easy when Terrence did it. He probably made it look easy, but it wasn't easy. Cleaning out the best of the weight class is never easy. And these are the people that surround Earl Spence Jr. If you have the opportunity to mop it up, mop it up. It's great for your legacy. It's great for your payday. And it's just great for the sport all in general and us as boxing fans. So I'm with it, fight fans. What say y'all? What say y'all? I don't know, man. You know, the thing is, is with this WBC order, they're saying that if Earl doesn't comply, that he can possibly be stripped of his WBC title. Normally, that's the way it usually goes when a sanctioning body orders a fight. Either you fight or flight. You got to get rid of that belt. Now, if they, these two sides can't come to an agreement, eventually it'll go to a purse bid if we get that far, fight fans. I haven't heard no response from Earl Spence Jr. He may not be too happy to hear this news. PBC has now maneuvered Earl, Earl into a corner where he may be forced to face Keith 
Thurman. And Keith Thurman told us prior to his last fight, oh, this is a final eliminator. This is a final eliminator. And the WBC at the time came out and was like, no, nah, this is not a final eliminator. Only for them to come back. And now I guess it was a final eliminator because he's been deemed a mandatory. So Keith knew something. Keith was told something. That's funny, Fight Fans. Seems like the only people who wasn't told something were the boxing fans and Terrence Crawford. But either way, I'm down to see the fight, man. What say y'all, man? Do y'all feel like a pawn in all of this? I don't feel too bad because I still really believe that we're going to get the fight next year between possibly the winner of Spence and Thurman uh, versus Terrence Crawford because A, there's nowhere left to go, but they couldn't invent a new way to go, right, Fight Fans? Jerome Boos and it still sit right there. But more than likely, there's nowhere left to go. And truth be told, it gives PBC more time to find the money hopefully needed to get that fight over the finish line. We don't want to hear no excuses and run into the same problems that we've had, fight fans. We'll say y'all. We'll see how it goes, man. Let's keep our eye on everything. It's a lot of moving parts here. Nothing ain't certain, fight fans. Things can change on the fly. And uh, but as of right now, we know that the WBC has went through with ordering this fight. We know that they had their convention uh, where all the orders normally come out. So technically, you know, WBC ordered this. It's on the books. It's official. Let's see how it all goes. To the next video. Thumbs up on the way out. We didn't hit it on the way in. Shit, shit, shit. And rock those bills. And fight fans, I want y'all to keep that third eye on the homie. We are back on the scene, fight fans. I repeat, we are back on the scene. We are back now coming up to you live in full effect every Thursday and Sunday here on Main Man Made Man's Boxing, man. I want to tell everybody, thank y'all for supporting me and thank y'all for hanging on in there. I will have those uh, phone lines wide open for everybody to come on through and say your peace, man. So I want to tell everybody once again, thank you. And let's keep our eyes on the prize, man. Thumbs up, fight fans. And until the next video, man, praise out.